Welcome back to my channel. All of my stuff is laid out pretty chaotically, but we're gonna go through it all with a little haul and then I think we're gonna do a little journal with me. So I say we just jump right into it. So I ordered from Rainbowholic, who if you don't know is someone here on YouTube. They live in Japan and have a stationery store in Japan. And then I also got stuff from a stamp company on Etsy from Modern Maker Stamps. I got a few stamps from them, but they came out to be a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. I was hoping that they would be big stamps. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, but I'm still gonna use them. And then I also went to Savers and I got a couple pouches. We probably should just start with the pouches because they're the biggest. I got two matching pouches. They have this fuzzy material on them. That is so cute. And that's what made me really love them. I found this one first, the blue and green, which is definitely my favorite. I love the size the most and the colors and everything and it even comes with a little little wallet like card holder inside and i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet but i'm really excited about it and then the other pouch is a matching red one it didn't come with anything inside and it is this other shape but i did find out that it can fit my everyday journal if i squeeze it in there so i might have this in a journal with me and hold this in this little case. I like how it matches too, so it's like the perfect little holder for this. I also recently, my mom gave me her Delphonics pouch and I'm gonna do a Delphonics tour in a different video, so look out for that. I'm very excited to film that. I just need to make sure I kind of have a working system with what I keep in there. These are just my journals. We can move these out of the way. Then we have Rainbowholic. Got some things from Rainbowholic. I've never ordered from Rainbowholic before, so I was very, very excited about this. My mom found out about it and actually decided to order some things, so I joined in and ordered some things as well. And it came with some little freebies. It even came with a tea. I always see her have these type of teas on her channel and a little candy as well. So I definitely want to use this in a journal with me. And then there's just little pieces of paper. They're so cute. And I'm just so excited about them. This is Rainbowholic. So I'm so excited about those. Then I got two sticker sheets. I was so happy with how big these are. And they come with two sheets. I think that they were still like pretty expensive. It was in yen, but I think it came to about $10 each in US dollars, but they are really big and come with two sheets. So I think it's worth it, at least in my opinion. Um, I have, I really just want big stickers because a lot of brands, they make the stickers small, especially like for planners and stuff. So I really wanted some big stickers. So I was very excited about these. And now I already want to order more because I just am so obsessed with the ones that I got. This is what they look like. I got the Floral Friends ones. And this ha one that has like a happy mail and like little everyday things they're each collaborations with different artists and i got a few washi tapes i thought i just got two but my mom got two of the star washi tapes so i took one of them because i don't think she meant to do that but they're super cute i'm gonna take off the stickers on them and put them in my journal i really want to visit her shop one day in japan I got the classic rainbow one in the wide, so I'm really excited to swatch these. I also got one that was in collaboration with another artist. And then the star one is also a, a Rainbow Holic original. Now time to swatch these. This one is huge. It's so cute. It's got so much on it. The design goes forever. And it's so cute. And then lastly, the star one. They all have a layer of 
tape sealing the edge. So these are the Rainbow Holic washi tapes. They are all so cute and I'm obsessed with them. Lastly, we have the stamps. They're in a little bowl that I got from my local Asian supermarket. It's just a really cute cat bowl. So I got three different stamps. Like I said, I thought that they were going to be way bigger, so I was kind of sad. But I got a flower, a star, and this polka dot pattern. It's just different size polka dots. So I'm going to swatch these. I'm going to just try it with some black ink. Try the polka dot first. This one actually came with a handle. I thought I ordered them all without a handle, but oh well. That's cute. Let's see if I can. See, I think this would be so cute on the edge of a page. Yeah, I really like how this stamp looks. And actually, the handle's pretty nice. But this would be really cute on the edge of a page. Okay, I disappeared for a second, but I'm back. I'm gonna try the star now. That's cute. That's what the star looks like. It's cute. I'll definitely use it. Let's try the flower. I'm just still sad that these aren't bigger. Ugh, the flower is so cute though. I don't know why, but just the picture, it looked so much bigger. But it's so cute. Okay, that's the stamp hole. Let's open up my traveler's notebook. Because it now has a monthly insert in here. I also got this little pocket pal from pocket journal pam just to put in my pocket here and it's so cute i have all my little things in here and then i have this monthly insert that i've been loving and i think we're gonna put some stamps in here i got all my stamp colors i got this set from amazon you can read the label in here it's the shine house i think i'm gonna do some pink ones to match the pink theme. This is for June. Let's try with this polka dot. It's very light with this ink, but I'm gonna do some more of it. I think the lightness can be good just because I'm gonna be writing over it probably. I like how it looks like bubbles. I think it's so cute. This one's definitely my favorite of all of them probably because it's the biggest one but it's really cute this is for may this also kind of has a pink theme so let's put some pink flowers on here put this kawaii on it let's see what other colors we can add. maybe this blue not a blue star Oh, that's looking cute. I'm going to more. There we go. I'm loving this pen right now. I just got it from Amazon. It's the Pilot Kakuno. Kakuno. I always say Kakuno. But it's the Pilot Kakuno. It's a fountain pen, and I got it in extra fine. I really like the extra fine. My Kueko pens are all in fine, because sometimes it's hard to find extra fine, but I really like it. And it's just a black ink. It's just what it came with. Oh, and I also want to add some color to this. So I got these. I got these Distress inks. I'm going to use... Maybe the yellow. Just to get some color down. So cute. And then maybe we'll put some pink down here. Or maybe is it too pink? Maybe it needs some orange or yellow. I'm gonna put some yellow down. That looks super cute. I still haven't set up July, but we don't need to get that far. Maybe I should put some rainbow down for Pride Month. Okay, this does not rip well. It 
looks kind of messy, but I'm fine with that. It will look better when it's full. So I'm writing like a little like about my day in this, but also it's just like for planning. And yeah, it's just like another fun thing to decorate that I'm really excited about. And obviously I'll get better at decorating it as I go along. So I don't need to worry about that. Oh, and also another little update is I have some collage sheets that I made. I made these collage sheets. I put them up on my Etsy so you guys can have them, but it's days of the week and days of the month. And I've already used some as you can see. And I just really like them, and I'm going to keep using them in my journal. My current journal is kind of already pre-decorated. Let me show you. I did a little YouTube short and TikTok about my pre-decorated pages. But right now, I'm just so pre-decorated in advance that I don't really need to decorate right now. So you can go watch that video to see all the pages. But here's like a recent one I did with my little collage sheets. And with the new Distress inks, this is with my regular ink, just the ink pads, and I use this tool. Really, the tool is all you need to get if you have some inks. I just love doing this. Give it some orange edges. It's so much fun. This could even use some of this new tape, though. I don't want to separate the flowers. I'm going to put this up here. And then put the flowers down here. So yeah, those are my pre-decorated pages right now. Oh, I have some work I could do. This could use the stars. So cute. This tape kind of rips weird, as you can see. I'm going to use some of this tape to balance it out. This is just by Scotch. There, I think that balances it out well. So yeah, these are what some of my other spreads look like, if you are curious. I really like how this stamp looks. I wish, like, the one I got was at least that size. This notebook is getting chunky, and I love it so much. So, that was my little haul in journal with me. I have to go, so can't journal any longer but let me know how you feel about this type of video it's a lot more casual content wise or if you prefer just setting up my journals and like journal flip throughs so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one